Prepeng Monastery is one of the three great Buddhist monasteries in Tibet. Once up to 10,000 monks lived here and studied Buddhist philosophy. Nowadays only about 600 remain. Tibetan families regularly make pilgrimages to Lhasa and live near the monastery to practice Buddhist rituals. <laughs> The monastery was founded in 1416 and was home to the early Dalai Lamas. Our guide challenged the monks to test their karma by blindly approaching the hole in the wall. Here is the entrance to the Zera Monastery. We're entering here the debating courtyard and monks need to practice debating. The questions they are asked are like, what was first, chicken or egg? And they need to answer according to Buddhism philosophy. <laughs> We're walking up to Potala Palace, 200 stairs to go, overall 170 meters in height and we are preparing for our Everest base camp tour. MS Germany here on Lake Potala, enjoying the greatest view on the palace. jams on the mountain roads of Tibet. Here we are at Yamdrok Lake. This is one of the four holy lakes in Tibet. We are now 180 kilometers away from Lhasa city, 4,400 meters above sea levels. Those flags behind us are prayer flags. Hey Anne, how's the air up here? <laughs> um, quite okay still. We're nearly 5,000 meters high. I can still breathe quite well. But here you can see a lot of Chinese tourists with their oxygen. <laughs> What a beautiful landscape here, with the oxygen bottles in front of the glacier. Thank you. 
our way to Everest Base Camp, we just stopped by a road and saw that there's a genuine horse race going on. So let's see what it leads to. Traditionally, as in Finland, we are doing here a yakshit throw and we'll check how far we can throw that perfectly disc-shaped yakshit here. Okay, touch your yeah. start. That's good. <laughs> where they are burning the yak shit. Just stayed a night in Everest tourist base camp, hiked up here for the third time and now we finally have a very clear, very bright view on Everest. <laughs> 